Each week, I put out the DaVinci Resolve Digest, an email newsletter covering new and notable videos about DaVinci Resolve from the past week. Here are just a few of my favorite DaVinci Resolve videos from January 2024. The first is this tutorial from Fusion Studios, this collage cutout effect. I think it's extremely effective, and I also think uh, it is an amazing type of effect for diving into Fusion. If you're a little bit more of a beginner, you'll learn a whole lot about masking and building an effect out of nodes. And at the end of it, you'll have something that looks really great. Next is a video from Peach covering every way to make a shake effect in DaVinci Resolve. I've talked about a few different ways to make something shake in Resolve or in Fusion on this channel, but this is a great breakdown of all the different options you have and really goes to the next level in expanding uh, the user's knowledge of Resolve so they can tackle each specific challenge they have in the way that is best suited. If you've only been making stuff shake in one way in Resolve, check this out. Next, we have an amazing breakdown of recording voiceover natively in DaVinci Resolve from Creative Video Tips. Recording audio natively in Resolve is still a feature that lots of users uh, either don't use or don't know exists. And this video from Chadwick tells you everything you need to know uh, to use this really powerful tool. Sticking with audio, Jason Yadlowski had a lot of good videos this month, but I really love this one that covers uh, what to do if you have a video, you edit most or all of your video and then realize you forgot to sync external audio before you began that editing process. What could easily be a headache or cause some editors to completely scrap a project, uh, Jason goes over uh, the simple tools to get you back on track. And finally, I wanted to point out this video by Team Two Films that goes over the really, really cool uh, cloud workflow that now exists in DaVinci Resolve. They look at specifically the firmware update from the Ursa G2, but this is also the same workflow that you would use uh, if you were using the uh, Blackmagic camera uh, iPhone app. But the fact that uh, this functionality exists in this camera uh, is really shown off so well in this Team Two Films video. If this is something you could use or this is just a really cool workflow you wanna check out, don't miss it. So I wanna know what were your favorite DaVinci Resolve videos from this past month, whether you found them through the DaVinci Resolve Digest or not. And if you want to subscribe to the DaVinci Resolve Digest, it is free. You can head over to sterlingsupply.co and either use the form right on the front page of that or uh, click through to the DaVinci Resolve Digest section uh, to also view all uh, past editions of this newsletter where you can see these videos and more from this past month. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.